Only hours after it was set up, this anti-missile battery in Tel Aviv intercepted a long-range rocket fired from Gaza and aimed at the heart of Israel's commercial capital. Five such batteries called Iron Dome have been deployed and three more are being rushed into production. In an expansion of the air war against Hamas, the Israelis struck the office of the movement's prime minister overnight. Attacks were also aimed at other parts of Hamas's political structure, including a building where the cabinet meets. Gaza is one of the most densely populated areas in the world, and any escalation to non-military targets carries the risk of increased civilian casualties. More than 40 Palestinians have been killed, at least half of them civilians, including women and children. This girl, who was pulled from the rubble, appears to be alive. Hamas released this video they claimed was their rockets being launched. Apartment buildings in the Israeli city of Ashdod were hit by four of them that evaded the Iron Dome batteries deployed in the south. Hamas is getting a political boost from visits like this one today by the Tunisian foreign minister. Rafiq Abdesalam called on the international community to help stop what he called this blatant aggression against our families, our citizens and our brothers in Gaza. The Israelis insisted their actions are purely defensive and warn Hamas that it is risking an escalation in the conflict. Massive amounts of armor and troops are being deployed in preparation for a possible ground invasion. But there is an international effort underway to work on a ceasefire. Egypt has been taking the lead role, and today the Egyptian president, along with representatives from Qatar and Turkey, held talks in Cairo with Hamas's leader in exile. The Israelis call him a terrorist, but so far they haven't objected to the Egyptians' effort. Margaret? Alan Pizzi in Tel Aviv. Thank you.